My grandparents, uh, Ruth and Nathan Hale, were very, very unique. They were well-known playwrights. Uh, over 80 of their shows were produced all over the nation and beyond. From the beginning of the theater, we did everything in those first stages, including cleaning the toilets. Every time it rained, somewhere it would spring another leak, and we would put these five-gallon buckets that we would hang up there in the rafters to try to catch the water so that the patrons wouldn't get wet. And then occasionally the, the power would go out, and we had a little generator outside, and we'd plug in just the basic lights to keep things going. Some of those time periods really made me wonder, is this really going to succeed? Is it really going to work? Yeah. Limitations breed creativity. <laughs> so when you're most limited, that's when the creativity has to begin. It has to take over. We wanted to figure out what is the best way that we can do this. We wanted it to be something that would not just simply meet expectations of those who attended. We wanted to astonish the patrons who came. We went from our first performance with 25 paid audience members to um, 563,000 patrons. It literally took us like 30 years or so to find and get to the right combination of people with incredible expertise who make the wheels go round. No one else can do for live theater what we can do in that space, and it's like a miracle. And I stand at the top of the mezzanine at night and uh, watch people pour out of those doors, and I think, <laughs> I see their smiles, I see their, their tears, I see them hugging each other. This is a happy business to be in. We're in the, <laughs> the business of making people happy. There is no question that we stand on the shoulders of those who have gone before us. Every generation, hopefully in some way, gets better as we progress and evolve. Had I known how difficult the journey would be sometimes, how many sleepless nights we'd have to do, I think not knowing was good. Because we didn't know and we just forged ahead knowing that it was something that was making people happy and it was actually starting to fill seats. I am as stunned now as I was then. Look for whatever it is in life that we can do where we can make a positive difference in the lives of others. And for us, uh, that vehicle has been theater. It's a beautiful thing when you know you're making a difference. It's a really beautiful thing when you know that your hard work is making people happy.